The following exercises are suitable for these prosthetic knee joints. Apart from that, always consider the user's physical condition. Walking uphill on steeper slopes is carried out using normal stance release. Training is started with a contralateral handrail. Avoid circumduction when walking uphill. The steeper the slope, the harder it is to move forward over the prosthetic foot. The step with the prosthesis should be shorter because it is easier to shift the center of mass forward. Walking downhill on steeper slopes cannot be managed using the stance release. The yielding technique is used instead. By means of the stance flexion resistance, Gerhard walks over the bent knee. At first, he yields into the knee joint a few times, so that he gets a feeling for the resistance. When the contralateral leg takes a step forward, Gerhard has to allow knee flexion on the prosthetic side and he rolls over the entire foot. Now Franziska supports the pelvis. She feels if the center of mass stays over the foot or if the pelvis rotates. The upper body stays upright during the whole process. During the training, change the side of the handrail. Furthermore, the support of the therapist will be reduced step by step. Using the handrail on the ipsilateral side while going downhill is harder for the user. The prosthetic side is loaded more. An even gait rhythm and shorter steps facilitate walking downhill. The exercises shown in the video yielding on level ground are also a good preparation for walking downhill. Support is reduced further. The legs can only be equally loaded if the stance flexion resistance is properly adjusted. The selected resistance acts the same in every situation where the knee is flexed and under load. Besides walking downhill, the situations are sitting down and walking downstairs. Gerhard also has the possibility to use the cockpit app to adjust the resistance if necessary. For example, this can be used in case of a long downhill walk. Franziska shows Gerhard how to stop on steep slopes and how to use the intuitive stance function for secure standing. If Gerhard stands still with a slightly bent knee, the knee locks in the flexion direction and can be fully loaded. The stance function is deactivated when rotating forward or unloading the prosthesis. Gerhard shows the transition from the intuitive stance function to yielding. The OT shows how changing the stance flexion resistance influences the gait. If the resistance is too low, the knee flexes too fast and the sound leg is overloaded. If the resistance is too high, the knee bends very slowly and the user feels insecure. Hip rotation is a common effect. The value proposed in the software is just a basic value and must be individually adjusted to the user's needs. Gerhard should feel sufficient support at an appropriate velocity. 
When walking uphill, circumduction and hip hiking are common mistakes. Stance release will not be triggered due to early unloading of the prosthesis. Gerhard should instead roll over the whole foot. Then he should imagine kicking a ball to activate the hip flexors. On steep slopes like this one, it is harder to move forward and to generate enough toe clearance during swing phase. Gerhard pushes the residual limb into hip extension, which impedes adequate knee flexion and alternating steps. Franziska reminds Gerhard to maintain an upright body position and to keep the center of mass over the foot. This helps Gerhard with the right timing for knee flexion.